Hello students, in the previous lesson we had, you've learned to define and solve present and future values of simple annuity. Now, you will be learning another kind of annuity, and that is general annuity. And at the end of this video, you will be able to define what a general annuity is and solve problems involving general annuity. General annuity is an annuity certain this compounding period is not the same as the payment interval. So please take note of this phrase, not the same. Okay, let's have an example. Payments are made at the end of each month for a loan that charges 1.05% interest compounded quarterly. So the payment interval here is each month, but the compounding period of the interest is done quarterly. And we know that per quarter is consists of three months so it does not coincide yung month at saka quarterly and that makes our example a general annuity so another example is paying a debt semi-annually when the interest is compounded monthly so the payment here is semi-annual but the interest is compounded monthly and that is totally different so here's the formula in finding the future value and present value of an ordinary general annuity. So, and please take note of the description per variable. So this is for future value of an ordinary general annuity. This is for present value of an ordinary general annuity. This is R represents for regular payment. N is the total number of conversion periods for the whole term. So, it is important to remember that in general annuity, since the payment interval does not match the compounding period, thus, our value of N will be calculated as T times P, where T is the time in years and P is the number of payments per year. I sub 2 is the equivalent periodic interest rate per payment period, given by I sub 2 is equal to the quantity 1 plus I raised to the power of C minus 1. Here's another notation C, which is equivalent to the number of compounding periods denoted by M over the number of payments per year denoted by P. And R is our interest rate. Have the formula in finding the future value and present value of a general annuity due. So please take note of the variables involved here and its corresponding meaning. So Joanna is planning to save 1,500 pesos every end of the month for the next four years in a savings account at 2.5% compounded quarterly. So find the accumulated value of the investments at the end of four years. So notice that the payment period, which is monthly, is not equal to the compounding period, which is quarterly. So this makes it as an example of a general annuity. Now, let's classify if it is ordinary or annuity due. So based on the problem, we have a keyword here, which is N. Thus, this is an example of a general ordinary annuity. To solve this problem, let's follow the following steps. So first is identify the given from the problem. Next is find the values of C and we have here I sub 2 which is the equivalent periodic interest rate per payment period. And step 3 is to substitute the values to the formula. So in this kind of problem, we will be using future value. Why future value? Because we are looking for the accumulated value of the investments at the end of four years. And that refers to the future value. Okay, and we know that this is an example of an ordinary general annuity. So we will be using this formula. So let's identify now the given information from the problem. So we have R, which is our regular payment, which is 1,500. Our rate is 2.5% or 0.025. M is equal to 4 or that is our number of compounding periods. So 4 because it is done or it is compounded quarterly. And then P is 12. That refers to the number of payments per year. So since it is done monthly and there is 12 months in a year. So that is why it's 12. 
And then T is equal to 4. So given that um, we will be looking for the future value of your money after 4 years. And then I is equal to R over M. I here refers to the periodic rate. So that is the uh, rate over the compounding period. And that will give us an answer of 0 0.00625. And N, which is our total number of conversion periods for the whole term given by T times P. So that is 4 years times 12 for your payment, monthly payment. So that is we're going to pay 48 monthly payments okay, to achieve that certain amount. So, we're still looking for that amount. Part. Okay? So, next step is, of course, we need to find the values of C. And we also have I sub 2. So, C is equal to M over P. And that is just equal to 1 third. And for I sub 2, this will, we will be using this formula. Just substitute the given um Box to the formula and it will give us an answer of this value okay so substitute everything to this formula and then we will be using our scientific calculator to arrive to the final answer so we have 1500 times we have one plus 0 0.00207 Nine zero zero eight. So we will not round it off yet. We will just round off numbers when we arrive on our final answer. Okay. Then we also have zero point zero zero two zero seven nine zero zero eight. Okay. Close it. And it will give us an answer of seventy five thousand six hundred thirty two point four nine zero zero eight. Thus, the accumulated value of Joanna's investment at the end of 4 years is 75,632.49. If he's planning to save 1,500 every end of the month for the next 4 years in a savings account at 2.5% compounded quarterly. Okay, so sana ma-motivate ma tayo kay Joanna to save money for future years. So the purchaser of a lot will pay 5,000 pesos at the start of every 6 months for 7 years. If money is worth 5.5% compounded annually, determine the equivalent cash price. So notice that the payment interval is every 6 months and the compounding period of the interest is done annually. And that makes this example as a general annuity. Okay? And let's classify if it is ordinary or annuity due. So based on this, we have this keyword which is start. So meaning this example is an example of a general annuity due. So we have two formulas in general annuity due. So we have the present value and future value. So since we need to determine the equivalent cash price and we, when we talk about cash price, that means the actual amount of money and it is not the same as the future prices we will be using the present value to provide the regular payments for the annuity okay so we will be following these steps and of course this formula to solve the given problem so let's identify the given so our regular payment is 5000 pesos our interest rate is 5.5 percent or that is 0 0.055 so, M is equal to 1 since the interest rate is compounded annually. And then, P is equal to 2 since there are 2 payments per year since it is done every 6 months. And then, time is 7 years. Then, our I is equivalent to 0 0.05. So, I here refers to the periodic rate. And then, N is equal to 14. Wherein, this is the total number of conversion periods for 7 years. Okay, so looking for our C, that is 1 half. And then for our I sub 2, that is equal to 0 0.02713 So we will not round it off so that uh, we can really get the accurate result in finding the present value of this problem. Okay, so substitute everything to the given formula and we will use our calculator in finding the present value. So now let's input the given values to our scientific calculator.
And it will give us an answer of 59,163.43651. So let's double check our answer. So thus, the equivalent cash price of the lot is 59,163 pesos and 44 centavos. So knowing that this is the equivalent cash price, so the purchaser can now pay 5,000 pesos at the start of every six months for seven years. Our third problem, Marina bought a house worth 900,000 pesos. She made a down payment of 150,000 pesos. The remaining balance is payable every end of the month for 5 years. So if the remaining balance is charged 5% compounded quarterly, how much will she pay monthly? So as what you've observed on the problem, the payment interval is every end of the month and the compounding period is done quarterly. So meaning this is really an example of a general annuity. So we will be classifying if this is ordinary or annuity due. So based on this problem, we have here a keyword which is end. So meaning this is an example of a general ordinary annuity. Okay, so let's follow these steps in order for us to solve the problem. So we, what we're looking for is the monthly payment of Marina, diba? So meaning class, we need to know the present value for us to be able to know the regular payment that Marina will pay to pay the remaining balance. Okay, now let's identify the given from the problem. So our present value is not 900,000 nor 150,000 but it's difference. So knowing that 750,000 is now our present value, Marina will be able to know her monthly payment to pay the remaining balance. M is equal to 4 because compounding period is done quarterly. Okay. The number of compounding periods is equal to 4 since the interest is compounded quarterly. Then P is equal to 12 because the number of payments per year is 12 since every month man mag pay si Marina. Then rate is 5% or that is 0.05. Time is 5 years. Then I or our periodic rate is equal to 0.0125. And N or the total number of conversion periods for 5 years is 60. Okay? So find the values of C and I sub 2. So C is equal to 1 third and our I sub 2 is equal to 0.00414943. So let's substitute this to the given formula. So now what we're looking for is the value of R. So for us to get this value, we need to divide the whole equation by this quantity. So let's use our scientific calculator to solve the value of R. Okay, so let's calculate. So we have here... Give us an answer of 14,146.31915. Okay, so let's job, double check our answer. Okay, that's it. Farina should pay 14,146 pesos and 32 centavos a month. But today, I hope you can now define what is a general annuity and you can also be able to solve the present value, future value, and even the regular payment of a general annuity. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Stay safe everyone!